we're looking to verify. We're not starting right now. Uh, we're just making sure everything's working right now. You can see, or you should be able to see the countdown timer. So well, anyway, I hope you're doing well. We got about nine minutes till go time. If you can hear me, uh, particularly, uh, well, regardless of whether you're at, if you're in GoToWebinar or if you're on YouTube, let me know you can hear me. Um, we will. I would really very, I would very much appreciate that. So in any case, I hope you're doing well. Good morning. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming. Uh, we'll see you, uh, we'll start in, as you can see on the countdown timer, right there, nine minutes. So be right back.
Hey everybody, it's uh, Jeff Gibby over with oh, with Meta's talk. Uh, it's good to see you today. Thanks for coming. Uh, let me know uh, that you can hear me. I do appreciate that. Appreciate any comments. Uh, just let me know everything's coming through okay. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So thank you for coming. I hope you're enjoying uh, your day. I hope you're having a good day and it's good to see you today. So in any case, let's start with uh, uh, my favorite part, the legal disclaimer. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information software and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading, Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Uh, thank you, uh, David, uh, for confirming you could hear me. And uh, Ankh, welcome. Thanks for, thanks for coming in. Thanks for saying hi. All right. So we got the legal stuff out of the way. Uh, our guest today is Peter Dala. Peter has been a partner of Metastock for decades now. Uh, one of our most successful products that we've released is, was a product called Forex Traders Advantage, which in, was obviously built around the Forex markets and looking at the Forex markets. And that was created by none other than Peter Dalal, uh, who's been a very, very good partner of ours uh, for a number of years. I absolutely love Peter. So um, he, over the course of the last decade and so, has been actually kind of working on the FXTA models and has come up with a uh, kind of an updated system called Magic Trader. Uh, it's a very, very good system. He's going to talk a little bit about how you can use it to get five ingredients uh, and find really good opportunities. I know the market's a little bit rough right now. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of action up and down and sideways and all over the place. And uh, uh, so there's some ingredients to kind of help you navigate through that volatility is what he's going to be talking about today. So let's go ahead and kind of bring him on here. Peter, I want to say thank you for coming in. All right, Jeff, can you hear me? I can, you sound great, actually. All right, thank you very much for a great introduction. Jeff and I go back more than at least 15, mm -hmm. 20 years now. And he's a great guy. We spent a lot of time together while we were traveling many cities together. And we started knowing each other. And uh, I love Metastock, that is the bottom line. And a lot of good people there. And uh, they've been around there a long, long time. They don't want to leave Metastock, I guess. That tells you the story. They say, <laughs> yeah, we love it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So many people I know, they've been there like decades. So overall, so my experience, I went through so many places to try their software. There is no software I come across. They have such a great service. Nobody can beat that service that I know for sure. So I decided to stay with them all these years. And um, uh, nothing is perfect. Yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to let you know, uh, I'm going to uh, turn the time over to you. We can see your screen. We can see the proper screen. Everything sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my microphone and give you the floor officially. If you need anything, I'm here to help though. Okay, no problem. Cool, so, it's all yours. Basically, I enjoy working with them, especially Jeff and I spend a lot of time together, right? So it's a great company and uh, we wind up doing a couple of products with them. So today, what I want to do is you could read those things and you'll have a copy of that. Basically, what we're trying to do in this market, and I've been there in 30 some years, so many ups and downs comes in a market and uh, uh, you have to figure out how to defend yourself and be conservative. And then you could stay in the market for a long time. And this is the market will test everybody knows and things are changing. There's no long-term kind of things because of the volatility and people don't have trust in the market. So you have to learn how to trade in that. And we created this product called Magic Trader having every kind of trading in every type of market, you could make a few bucks or maybe lose too, because there is no way I could tell you, you cannot lose money. It is all depends upon you. Regardless what software you use, you got to understand how to control your risk. And other than that, everything is easy. Because in Magic Trader, it tells you what to do. 
but if you become emotional and try to create yourself some new invention of trading, then it will also having different result. And uh, it's all depends upon how you manage your trade. Other than that, everything is not that difficult. So people who are new, you have a clean slate. You don't have to worry about it. Don't get involved with too many things and stay focused. And that's what I had to do it when I came into this uh, industry. So we're going to talk about different patterns. And these are repeat and repeat and repeat. They show up every single chart. So it's easy to remember that. So we're going to follow those for a bullish as well as bearish uh, kind of trading. And basically, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we created this product. It is patented product. Everything was done from scratch. So you will not see traditional stuff. So that's what I came to a conclusion after spending years and years teaching people and trading with technical analysis. And basically, that doesn't mean other things are no good, but I found a better way of handling my risk using risk-based technology, not price-based, even though we all like to see prices. But technically, it is risk is more important. And here, there are multiple risks, which was not even revealed until I put it together. So everything is riskier. So symbols, everything is related to risk in a background. So it is not the one you could Google it and find something so like quickly like everything else because it was totally new invention. So before we go further, I had to disclose that there are many slides for disclosure, right document, and our lawyers wants us to at least expose you, but we're not gonna spend hours with that, that I assure you. We're gonna finish it up quickly, important points. You could have the copy of this uh, disclaimer if you want it. it. I will try to stay here so you could pause it and read it later, but I will bring the important points and if I miss it, you have a copy. If you don't have a copy, you could reach out to Jeff and he he has the latest copy. So we don't have to, or you don't have to worry about getting those. So anyway, so risk disclosure, everything we do in trading is risky. As long as the Refinity gives you data, we're gonna be showing on a magic trader, right? And everything you trade, whether it's a crypto, it's a security, futures, forex, anything you come across, including bonds, T-bills, or whatever it is. So those are risky vehicles, and you have to know that you could lose money, right? And there is no guarantee that you're going to make money. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And true traders don't trade equally as well as same trader cannot do produce the same results on a regular basis. So people can claim anything they want. It's a free country, but we won't, because that's what the regulator tell us. So there is no safe trading system ever been devised, and there is nobody can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Everything we do is education purpose only. So you got to hire your own investment advisor, security lawyer or CPA. Now CFTC rule 4.41, everything we do is hypothetical, including trading live in front of people falls under hypothetical. And it is also looking good in a benefit of hindsight, right? But those results are falls under stimulated results. Any testimonials, we don't give or uh, guarantees for anything. You try it, if you like it, keep it. And people who understand it, they love it. There's a lot of things this software offers and you have to understand how to find those secrets on a chart. And there is a lack of liquidity always in a market. So same instrument also tries up. So bid and ask for it goes very high. And you got to understand that 
your performance will be different with the same event, same instrument. Depends upon what instrument prices are, like for instance, options, then uh, those options in a certain series will be having a lot of spread and uh, you got to find the right one for you. So options are risky and they are not suitable for everybody. So everybody wants to trade options. I've been doing for 30 years. It is not suitable for everybody. So try to understand how this thing works. There are rules of the exchanges and you need to understand it. And a day trading rule applies to options too. So you got to understand as, as well as the risk of certain strategy can cause you a lot of trouble. So you got to go slow and uh, learn it what strategy fits for you. And good thing is brokers will not allow you to do like a naked calls, naked call, naked put those takes time for them to allow you. So they try to control risk, but you have to control your own risk. So don't do things which is not like, uh, not advisable to do it. My company, right, is registered with CFTC. So a lot of things, applies to us. So a lot of disclaimer we got to put is my company also telling here that we don't give any buy and sell or hold recommendations. So everything is for education purpose only. And we took the exemption to do this product release. So I don't manage currently people's money, neither I'm a broker anywhere. And we took an exemption temporary then until time comes to, but I still hold series three and 34. Now we have a lot of patent claims granted. We are in uh, whatever the process are. There are a lot of trademark, service mark. We do have it copyrights. So please be mindful and don't try to take things. We give it away a lot of things, but why would you do that? But people don't know, we have to ask for it. Now this is my Company's license number 352991. We are required to tell you that. And I do share my trades, live trades with people in alert room. And I try not to discuss those to avoid a lot of irregularities, right? Or conflict with people, right? So basically, if we do it, then we, uh, what you could do it. and. Uh, Sometimes I don't realize, so I'm not giving any guarantee that I have to disclose all of them. If I realize, I'll do it. We want to be upfront with you guys. And we change these disclaimers often. You could see the dates on every single thing. We, whatever the law tells us, we do it. Now, again, the testimonials don't tell people we could make million dollars. We don't, and we are not going to get into those kind of discussions at all. Try it if you like it, then it's fine. <coughs> we develop this method called swing and we educate people. And I'm not telling that you will not have a drawdown, it depends upon how much practice you have it. We figure out a way almost avoiding all drawdowns, but you got to learn how to do it. And we trademarked this method so many, many years ago. And this software, if you don't know, it's been around since 2006, is in use. So we are there for a long time. And primarily it was used by institutional. That's how we started. And Jeff and Kelly talked to me and we, I think we felt that this can help a lot of ordinary people to get institutional side of all the game playing and software talks to you if you know how to read that. So basically I come from institution side, so I like to have every single thing what I did it there, right? Plus my own inventions on a floor. So technically everything has a institutional taste in there. So you got to figure out how to learn it. It's not that difficult, but it tells you what is going on, which is very useful for any trader. So in this webinar, you're going to learn how to trade with Magic Trader. We're going to teach you simple method, not too complicated, so you could do yourself. Then how to use simple trading strategy, which we're going to talk about why 
patterns and a combination of that. We're going to discuss those today and find the best opportunity in minute. Once you scan, you know where we're going. And that's what you need. You don't need to be a scientist to draw trend lines, this line, that line, or we don't care for regular patterns. I was following right, you know, ascending triangle or pennant and all the happy stuff. I don't, and I don't need to. But that doesn't mean you cannot use it. So I'm not trying to knock other people down, but I don't use it. I used to be a fan of all these things for many, many years, last 15 years, no. And I'm, I'm happy for that. And we're going to help you to learn these five ingredients or five patterns to boost your trading confidence. Now, what I did, it, every time I like to change these slides for people who think the same thing is not same thing. I'm trying to convey messages in a different presentation and stay focused on what I want to teach you today. So basically, overall, the concept of magic trader, so this is a bullish kind of direction example. So let me start from the top. So this is what we call health window. Everything you see in here, it falls under health window. So the concept came from, because I have a lot of health problems all my life, right? So I got used to going on EKG and whatever, right? So I try to think at that time. How can we find out a way to check internal health of the security? So you become your own doctor for trading. That was really happening in my mind. I said, that got to be a way, a simple way, because we don't need to have a 10, 10 different things, up and down kind of thing, waves, uh, oscillator, no. Actually, inside of the security, whether it is good to trade, it is good to go in a what you call bullish direction or bearish direction. And it has to be universal for both, so only up or down than this, dotted line and how I can do that. It took me highest amount of time to figure out, right? Because it was done from scratch. So, and I wanted to do something which was never done before. So we finally figured out. B means my daughter and I. So we're gonna to explain to you how to use few lines here. You don't need to worry too much about it, but couple of lines we're gonna talk about today. And then this is a spectrum. So I always fascinated by, you know, UFOs and stars and astronomy, right? And ocean, all the fishes. So, and then the amount of the risk I came across, right? And I discover it was mind boggling and boggling and combination of them. So there are not billions, trillions of combination. How possibly any human being can even figure out with what is going on right now? Simple things I came up with and I discover these color candles, which we will do separate webinar later, or Jeff can do it today if he has a time. He will explain to you these different colors, right? He's good at that. So this is not simple buying what you are used to basically one buy and one sale color. No, in reality, I figured out and we got the pattern that trading doesn't work that way. And I wanted to know when institutions are coming and going, different types of institution, A, like A, B, C, D, right? And in that A, what kind of institutions are going? We, if that color shows up, then B color. Now who added, right, besides, those institutions, who else came in? So these different colors, right, I started putting together and really it reveals a lot of things. So I don't need to call my friends at Citibank or, or Merrill Lynch or whatever, right? Or UBS that, oh, did you took the position? No, I don't need to talk to them anymore. So this candle color reveals those things. So I feel it's a different like a color fishes and like a spectrum, right? All these different stars, right? The symbols, right? It tells you the story, what is going to happen next? 
you just have to get used to it. And if you don't know anything, today's focus is five different shapes. And I, I will start with these. This is two lines and the dotted line. That is important. And this vertical line and this, and a couple of things from here. And that's it. And we're going to show you the scan, how I find these things. So easy. So here I put it right as a new item has nothing to do much here. But if you can see here, it's a magic forecaster for option. Say for instance, this blue color and two uh, uh, two came in here or three came in, right? So that means it tells us we're going higher. That's what it's forecasting. So you could see the results are obvious, right? So that's what we follow. So as soon as I enter in, if this color comes in, okay, I could add a couple of more stocks or options or whatever, right? So it has an option symbols also. You don't need to scratch your head. Can I buy options or not? So everything is done for you. And if you don't like this, then there is another expert. You could take option part of out and you could go still have a forecasting. But in this case, call option has a forecasting symbol 3.3, right? And it is on a scale for one to six. So obvious one is low risk, two a little bit higher and six is high risk. And also this color, right? We call as a catalyst. So usually for entry, I love it. And it shows you a bull here. That means we're going long. And that's about it. And these two lines are not the lines you used to. We have nothing to do with that. I came up with a different idea, which is a dynamically working and adaptive. And those magic line has nothing to do with that. And trading methodology is different. Usually, you, we all been taught, oh, if it crosses, then you go. By the time, it's the risk is high. So what are you doing? So you look at the yellow bar and all this uh, lining up. So basically, these are not the lines you are used to, but this is a different way we developed it. And basically, according to us, it has been working since 2006. I don't even have any idea to look at how that other things works. So I totally stay out of all these things because I do believe in what it is there. And I've been using it and other people are using, institutions use it. So you have to try it. So let's go and talk about the main subject now. And we're going to go in one by one, all of them separate slides. So you do remember. So if you spot this vertical line, which has a green color, right? That means we're going long. It's a direction line. That's what you need to know. Not need to worry about when should I go? Is it going up or down? You don't need to ask your friend or nobody. You see yourself a line there. It says green and it's a symbol for the direction line. That's the pattern, right? We decided to put a vertical line. So we're going long. That's it. So that's about it. You got to learn. That's a pattern often happens. And then you got to what you can look for a few of them and you're good to go. Now you see I bracketed here those lines and the whole area. In that case, the, there's a purple line which is shown here. Then there is a blue line which is shown here. And there is a dotted line right here which is shown here. As long as they have a value of 410, so 4 is the purple line. One is belong. One belongs to blue line, and the zero line is a dotted line. As long as you have that in place, you're good to go. We have a good health of the security. So to be on a safe side, as long as they are three parallel lines, you either <laughs> trust the software and I go. Then whatever happens, we worry about later. Right, so we don't need to be going what will happen, it should happen, go. And that's how easy it is, unless you make a project. And what happens, you're gonna see a lot of stuff like this, so you get curious, right? But initially, you got to stay focused on a few simple things like this in order to trade. And you could scan it, so you don't need to worry about it, where I'm gonna find it. So 
and Metastock has a great explorer functionality. So you put it in there, all 5,000 optionable or 50,000 other stock. You like it, you scan those. We're not putting any restriction that you can do this and you can do, right? You could do ETF, do it. Crypto, do it. Now, you could see the triangle, which is a dotted line. So dotted triangle, right? and it is for the bullish direction. So this is the bullish entry. So bullish direction is confirmed. Lines are parallel, right? And this spike. So usually I myself like to have this triangle shown, but the scanning, this will come way earlier, so you are prepared. So you could also write it down on a side and you wait in the next day or two is going to, create a triangle. And now you see a yellow bar. So this is my sweet spot to enter. When the yellow bar is there and you already have another thing which we're gonna talk about in a minute. So this spike is kind of entry for the bullish direction, which is confirmed here. So we go from the top and in the order. So this is number three. That's what you have to identify on any chart. And if you don't know anything else, close your eyes and do it. You have to learn it because sometimes it's offset or whatever, but you could scan every single thing. What you see here, I did the scan, right? And I found it, so I will show you where to find it. So and this is a pure health. So I did this whole health indicator, right? So now I want to go fast and I'm really in one line, I get the juice out of the whole health window. How can I do that? So we added this one. So once it's that lined up, it is pretty good. The health, everything looks great. Now people have seen this. Some people say ribbon we call as a horizontal time risk because all the risks related to the time are included into this same looking ribbon, right? So this does not have anything to do with anything you did it before because there are so many plugins have the same thing because we all using the ready-made Metastock expert, the framework. So, but the formulas are different and these are based on the risk. In, in this case, it is for bullish, right? And as you go longer period, right, the risk goes higher and higher, like here. So then you have a reversal, right? And you could go below magic line. So there is a method when to get out. And many times you could also use the spike in the opposite direction to get out. You don't need to wait until it forms 100%. I just get out. I Minute mean, it says, right, in this case, right, this symbol here tells me we're going down. And another way to do it for existing customers, right, who are not in my alert room, it is too far from main risk reversion area. So you're gonna come there. So get the hell out of that, take your money and run in this market. That's the slogan I've been telling people, do not try to be greedy because market regardless which is, they're also afraid. When you see zero DTE, means they trading options one day hedging. I started my life in a prop trading with the hedging firm. We have not seen things like this in many years. It's crazy. But that doesn't mean you cannot find the trade. We find in the room, if somebody's there from the alert room, they could put a, put a message there how many few hundred trades I could find any given time, any market condition. And they could tell if it is true or not. Any given time, few hundred trades. Different explorer, Jeff was nice enough to give us 39 explorer, right? So that does, or maybe more now. So people can get many opportunity in the market. So what we did it, we put it together, how all these patterns looks like. 
so you can miss it just like a quick uh, what you call quick review of what we learn so this is the vertical longer line or direction line then this is the health indicator right which has a uh, you know purple color and blue color about zero and i put the value here so you can miss it as long as they have the current value of four and one this is your check mark it looks good and parallel lines if they are parallel they are four and one so we don't need to be scientists to figure all out now this is the green spike for the entry then this is the pure health we learn right and this is the famous ribbon or horizontal time risk and that's it as long as you could check mark all of those you're good to go and catalyst which i like it so you in the scanning you will see if they have a catalyst or not and that's a booster system so your idea of matching five ingredients or five patterns on top of that you have low risk entry which is yellow bar and results are very obvious so before i forget let me show you the one which you saw the chart was gold right the first chart so let me show you on the i did the same scanning right on a and i found on a 313 because i wanted to show you the results so you could see here all different ingredients are written there and here is a catalyst catalyst why why miss yellow bar and there is one means it is there right so basically you know before you open the chart it is there let me see where they go right here your ld so i don't care what it is i like because i come from traditional work but sometimes in my room i like to tell people i really don't have problem with the lack of liquidity if the volume is not enough. So you want to get pushed up, right? As soon as, and there is a theme for a few days and you make money and run. So traditional way, I agree that volume is important, but the whole magic curve was developed without volume. And then we added volume in a scanning because a lot of people follows it, right? And it is true, anything less than 500,000 shares a day is a troublemaking. Troublemaking means you're going to get stuck in this market, definitely. So you got to have, I raise my bar. I need more than a million shares traded. Otherwise, I don't want to do it. I don't want to get stuck. Because liquidity is the king. So overall, you will have the recording so you could practice and these are the answers what is one number two number three number four number five i wrote it down here so you could practice once you get the recording and you recognize yellow color you know school days right so we're good to go and then if it is going to retrace so it says forecasting then you will learn when to get out right so basically look here it was telling we're going to go to the moon did it went if it didn't go to the moon, but it went in between, right? So get out. I don't wait. When it start losing this thing, I get out. And there are different ways you could do it to people who are existing. I'll give you heads up. See, this is the retracement V, right? Then there was a retracement, and then it's failing. So why are you waiting for it? Get out. That's what I do. This market, look, horizontal risk is going higher and higher. You had a one retracement, second retracement, you've got to put tight stop if you don't want to get out. I get out because I don't trust this market. My technology works, but it's a, you know, it's not like old days. You stay there for two weeks and you know, it keep on going. It does not work that way. Those era is over in last year for definitely yes. Now we're going to talk about the bearish side, which seems to be picking up the same. How you know? Advanced decline. Metastock has all this thing there. We don't need magic data for that. All right. So you follow advanced and decline lines. So if it is more advanced than decline, that means we're going up. Risk is on that day. 
That's it. We don't need to spend much time to all Google everything. No, stay focused on simple things. Now, here is the opposite than what we learned. So let's uh, uh, let's go over with the bearish side. So big red vertical line is a red direction line. Then bearish health line is opposite. So that dotted line is zero. Anything below zero parallel, we good to go. So blue line is always going to stay below uh, like a minus minus, right? And then it has a minus one to one. So you could count on it below is minus one. Purple line minus four, this is what we're looking for. However, it could be minus two, then zero, and then plus two, plus four. So this varies, but this one oscillates kind of not an oscillator, but when it started getting bullish, it goes to zero and one. So it moves from one or minus one to one or one to minus one. So just kind of trading understanding. Then this is an entry spike for red direction, which is a bearish red direction. Then pure health, so we're getting bad inside. So security is no longer bullish. So now it is bad for a bullish guy, but for a guy who are shorting, they love it. So they keep shorting. Right? And this is horizontal risk, which are in a bearish direction. So it's very simple unless you want to make a project. So people who are new, they should stay with basics. Now, I found a chart where it is a combination of when we have to trade options. So it helps people and it's also forecasting in option side also. So these are number one to five, as we talked before, one is direction line, two is those two horizontal line, but on a bearish side, right? And I put here minus four and a minus one value and zero. So you can't miss it. If it is any deviation that there is something wrong. So easiest way, put a tight stop or get out. If you don't know anything, put a tight stop or get out. So one, two, three, four and five, they all are listed here. And later on, when you get recording from Jeff, you study it and you practice it. Can you do that? Then call Jeff again. Hey, Jeff, I would like to do these things, right? I'm not a sales guy, okay? And Jeff and his team does great job. I'm a technical guy, so I'm not uh, having that lingo of a sales guy. But if you like, the practice, what are you gonna do? Then give yourself a trial. Now, entry point. So here is the bear came in, just like the bull came in and a spike and everything lining up and all five ingredients are matching or five patterns are matching. And it tells you, you could buy a put option. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you add more, then here you could take profit and you go back again. And these are the forecasters. They run from minus one to minus six. Right, so basically, once you learn this, Jeff is gonna give you some tool for these colors. This is where institution loads it up, right? This is the last stage we all get in when we see red color, right? No, institution comes with a boatload at that time. And how I know I was one of them. And not only that, Many times in my alert room, I show them what is happening on a CBOE side, 16, 18 different exchanges. We get the actual positions people are taking, right? And on a stock side, right? We got dark pool, right? All these people information. So they take the position and here is just show the color then. We, okay, this is Goldman Sachs buying. Okay, so that's a large institution or is shorting. So we got this e-color candle, right? So there is a way to become 007, not 007, 007. James Bond kind of situation. You could become James Bond if you really want to know what institutions are doing. This software has all the capability. Now I show you the, the uh, what do you call uh, the Explorer result. But this was done for a couple of other charts I'm gonna show you. But these are basically 
explorer comes in built with your software and this is how and jeff will show you more if he has a time so you scan the date you want to no, suppose you want to know two weeks ago, so put that date and see if they show up. And then you could study that way and get a confidence. That's what we're doing it to show it to you. So you know, okay, you're going to see in a black and white. Suppose the scanner shows you two months ago. What happened after that? You're going to see in black and white. Then you make a judgment whether working or not working. And there is a thing which is uh, Jeff is going to show you the expert uh, commentary window. And you're going to see, you could study from there too. It tells you all these things, what is happening. So you practice that and then you become your own teacher. You don't need to find another teacher. So five ingredients, now it is a little bit more direct. So this is the weekly, right? So I had this APLE came in at that time on a weekly chart, right? And then you could take those and scan it through Metastock Explorer if they're doing the same ingredients on a smaller time frame. So now you got a multiple time frame theme. If they show up on a both one, and that was the case here. So you have APLE came in a weekly as well as daily scan. So now it is the daily scan. So that means. Both are telling us they are five ingredients matching on a both time frame. That's awesome. So that is very, very powerful way of doing things. So I put the chart side by side. One is a weekly, right? You could see here, yellow bar was there and weekly doing good. And here it came in 110. So sometimes, right? And this is 120. So you could, also scan and see if it is in even vicinity. Sometimes yellow bar will come earlier. That's even better. So I take on a smaller time frame earlier entries. See, this is 120, that means 113, and this is 110. So between those week, the entry was there. So you're matching yellow bar to yellow bar practically and enter onto daily, and daily you could match with 60 and under. So you could find a trigger right and there is no drawdown or very least amount of the drawdown so you could enter at the open with the confidence you don't need to wait for trades oh uh, uh, the boss is here right it's been working right so when we started with telling people to new people conservative but you still did good so what are you complaining for that's what i would say and you could see here this was 3.2 then they take the profit, then prices are still going higher. So if you enter it to open, you're good to go, or you enter here, you made it because fine ingredients matching. That's the key. And daily doing the same thing, weekly doing. So that's even better. So you got a multiple confirmation of fine ingredients. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about my daughter. Since she was nine years old, she's involved in multiple businesses like I did with my dad. And she become part of Magic Trader. I can't do everything. So I taught my daughter what I want to do it. And she played a big role in creation of different colors, right? And I don't want to go into, there were 10 different, 10,000 different components. And a pattern filing, we got to number them and all this happy stuff, right? It is a lot of work and it was a lot of time she put it in. So the credit should go to my daughter, right? And I wanted to give her something when I'm not around, right? At least, so we got her involved. She has a lot of business experience from real estate to mining and dealing with all the institutions, Dealing with Jab, dealing with Kelly, they all know her. She is shy, she don't talk much, right? But they all know who helping me really. Uh, Jeff will tell you later. They like her more than they do like me, I guess. I know it's okay with me. She's cool. So basically she played a big role in our life. She works for big, the 
I do believe that one of the biggest publicly traded company on Wall Street. I can't go more into details. All right, this is me. I've been trading before I came in here. I always passionate about trading. I like this movement, right? I like negotiation. So it's like a negotiating a contract in a construction and you get you get satisfaction. OK, you beat them into their game, right? So you do better than them. So you, you make money here. <laughs> in construction, you save money. That's the reason why Save Dollar name came from, right? So I was saving money for all the contractors in my consulting business. Then I got involved as an actual partner in construction, right? But basically, I always low market. So I was doing both multiple business, and I wound up getting Series 7, 63. I have Series series 3 and 3, 4. But it's too much compliance, right? And I just want to stay away from trouble, getting in trouble from these regulators. Can't, can't mentally take it, right? So I want to be in a good side of the regulator. Doesn't matter which administration. I try to do the right thing. And uh, you could reach out to me. We publish every day in the morning, bunch of them free of charge, no string attached. I don't even promote magic here. They know what to do if they want to. I, I write, I love to inform all the traders. And I was doing way before Magic Trader was was born. I was always like that. If I know something can save people from the trouble, I will speak out, regardless what my friends even feel about it, because they're going to lose money, right? All these little guys. So I speak up. It's not a good idea nowadays, right? We get in trouble. But I inform people like all four crashes. I was very, very in earlier state telling people, get out. Get out means don't take risk, don't put more money, and they have to still talk to their advisor, but I'm getting out for sure. So they see me getting out, so they talk to their advisor, and I saved millions of dollars for people, making them educated. Right? I don't tell which stock and this and that, right? I don't do that, I get in trouble. But overall market, what is gonna happen next? 2020 crash. I was telling two years before. I told this crash coming in almost in, uh, I do believe that 2020 end, something like that. I said, okay, uh, last year was the biggest one when bond inversion started coming in again on a March. I thought it's a matter of time now. When between six months to another 18 months, it's a matter of time and it is happening. Market is not the same. So the king is the bond. If you don't know, if an old experienced trader, they know it, but the newbies follow bond and magic trader has the explorer for that. If Jeff, you pay our time, you could show it later. We got a bunch of them there. So that's how we know what is happening. Inverted market since March. And for your knowledge, this is the first time last couple of days is happened 1.07 minus inversion, uh, inverted chart. That means this never happened since 1981. This is unusual what is happening. The yield is negative. So smaller time frame giving, uh, so two years gives you more returns than 20, 30 years. So, so why would it? You keep money in a 30 years, so people taking money out and put it over there. I'm not advising you to do it, but that is the effect of inversions. And from experience, I'm telling you, inversion lasts for many, many months. So every day, this thing happening between different bond market, uh, 10 years, five years, seven years, one year, six months, and people are making good progress because now they have a short-term gains. It's sort of sticking their money into 30 years. Who knows, will be around or not? The whole United States, who knows? When things are going, it's crazy. Now, a couple of people during a bunch of this uh, kind of event, oh, can we do this, can we do this? So I put it out here in a slide, stocks, option, ETF, ETNs, mutual fund, bonds, cryptos, commodities, futures, currencies, 
derivatives, anything refinitive gives you the data weight. You could use magic data. So that answers everybody's question. Right? New and existing people. So if you want to know, so refinitive has a great, great product, right? You could talk to Merasa staff, every single thing you could imagine, how deep it is, you have no idea. Short, right, low float, everything is there. You just have to learn, right, from the software, which I do believe Jeff has some of the recordings he could give it to you. You reach out to him, right, and they have, a lot of education already done for that. And uh, you have to see, you don't need to go too far to look for this information, which is not available anywhere. Refinitive has, and I'm not a salesman for Refinitive, I love it because it does work. And Jeff, if you have time, let them know how good it is. Not because you sell it, it is true. But that's what got me into this thing. I was a Bloomberg guy back in days. I said, no. Reuters has a better data. And it is true. At that time, it was Reuters, now it's Refinitive, right? So me as a trader, I have an edge, especially in a different exchanges, in a Philadelphia Stock Exchange. I need that information so I could do arbitrage. Where I got this information? From Reuters. So these are the facts which I would like to mention in, because I got a little bit more time today. M Magic Terror, as I told you, everything is about risk. You're going to see in the trainings, you're going to be having your head spinning. You've never seen things like this. There are so many risks. Unfortunately, people did not knew or they don't know, but it is happening. Right, and how you know some of the things you want to do, you see on a chart yellow bar, but it will be black bar or maybe uh, turquoise bar happening in this thing. They all have a different risk configuration. And there are reasons why they are there, but it is really happening in the market. You're supposed to know, so you know what institutions are doing. They have their own favoritism because I was one of them. I will take the position right, in a certain setups only. I don't need to worry about it. My black candle shows up, black ribbon shows up. I'm happy. I know I have to get out of all the shorts. So a lot of trading difficulties, what you need to do, when to get out. These are the nuggets. Once you get it, you're gonna see the value. And I use as a trading setup. Why not? When all the bulls are taking over the game, and all the shorts get crushed. So I want to be in there earlier than everybody else. So I use this thing to my you know, own advantage. So you could do the same thing. So this was my goal and it is true. I was traveling with Kelly, Jeff and many people from uh, from Metastock back in days, I'm talking about 15, 20 years ago. And I always get frustrated because we got to, we used to run from city to city, right? Three, four cities a week, right? It takes a toll on you. And then you got to wake up after all this socialing we do after the seminar, have a uh, power dinner or whatever we do. And then I got to go back to the basic, prepare for trading plan for my broker. If this happened to this, and then you got to worry about S&P future. Next day, open a different way. What do you do? All the analysis out of window, three, four hours, waking up while we're traveling, right? It was getting to my nerve. I said, there got to be a better way of doing it. I don't have to do all the technical things. I need a pinpoint entries and I could have a better life. And I truly achieved that after I don't travel much, but I don't get involved with my own businesses, people running for me, right? But I got biggest thing, I could spend time with on a routine basis with my family. And that is, I really achieved. My wife never seen me six o'clock downstairs. I am there taking dinner with her and I watch TV, whatever she likes, I, right? Talk about family, whatever, right? Calling my grandson. I was never in a position to do that before, for many years. 
right? I'm just doing business, business, business. Yeah, it's all good, responsibility good. How about all family? Time wills, and I regret. My wife did that role going to the school meetings, right? Took, talking to the principal and whatever, right? This meeting, and I missed all. Or 99% I should say I missed because I never was home. And I realized in my awakening time, I said, there got to be a way. I want to still do construction. I want to still do magic trader. So I found the solution. And many of you may have the same problem. So you have to decide what you want to do. Now, no disrespect to any of the developers, any of the product. I was fan of all these things. Do I do that anymore? No. I have not used Fibonacci for right many. And my broker platform is there and I have to remove, but I don't use them in a real practice at all. Once in a while, technical traders tell me to draw trend lines. I'll draw do the trend line for their satisfaction. Otherwise, I, I don't. We have a zone lines, we use it, right? It tells me from one stage to another stage, where it's gonna go. I don't need to ask anybody, Fibonacci, which higher, which lower now, retracement theory and all this theory. They're good up to a point in my life too, but do I use it? No, I don't want to use it because I save time that way. So I put it in a trash. That doesn't mean they are bad. I don't use them. So for me, it's no, no use. That doesn't mean they are no, uh, no good. They are good. If you like it, use it. But I don't do it. My traders don't do it, right? And this is that famous yellow bar. So you could save time, right? So that's the whole goal was to free up more time. And that's what we're trying to teach you here if you have that problem. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have Jeff coming in. He's going to talk about Magic Trader, all this stuff. And then we're going to come back and answer your question but please do not ask me recommendations now i will stop and i will have to stop because i'm not your financial advisor neither i have no series 763 and even on a cftc side i'm not going to to be practicing because we took the exemption for temporary so i could do educate people for my product that's the whole goal right so i could talk in general what my charts is telling me not you but Recommending, no. Should I buy today? No. Should I sell it tomorrow? I'm not participating, sorry. But I have to stay within the guidelines of these uh, regulators, right? And my attorneys. So we're trying to do safe talking here. All right, so Jeff, please go ahead and all is yours and we will come back. All right. Great. Uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera again. And uh, let me take control of just a second because I did want to show a couple of things. You had mentioned uh, while you were talking a little bit about uh, Bloomberg and Reuters and the data, the quality of the data. And you wanted me to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, this is the one thing missing. People have no clue what Refinitiv has it. I love it. Yeah. And, well, and the have, thing you have to that we get a lot is like Bloomberg's like something like twelve hundred bucks a month minimum to just get it, uh, and uh, certainly with with the data connection that we're getting with Zenith, um, you know, they spent a billion dollars on it. They have it's literally the same connection that you'd get if you're subscribing as a uh, uh, as a hedge fund or a broker or bank. It's a, a very very. I mean, just to kind of give you another couple of numbers, there's. 3,000 full-time reporters, it's 300 different news bearers. That might be 2,000 and 200, but there's a huge amount of reporting that goes into it. It's a really, really professional level service. You hear that all the time. It's like leading Bloomberg, but the cost that we charge for it is so much cheaper than that. But that's all I have to say about that. We do have lots of training videos on the website. If you like to stay abreast of stuff that's going on in news, uh, we have one of the best retail uh, providers for it. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys were here last time when we were talking about uh, Magic Trader. We've, uh, I think we talked about it in January. In February, we had a, a big conference where we talked about it, and in March. And I think at off, well, actually at the January event, I was talking a lot about uh, uh, Facebook. The, the meta stock here and uh, the meta uh, platform and kind of how their stock was doing. And I kind of uh, made an illustration about how easy it was to kind of read this stuff on a daily basis. Uh, because Magic Trader is huge. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how big it is uh, there in a minute. But I just want to show you how good this was at looking with um, Facebook. If you're just looking at Facebook and just looking for the ingredients that that Peter talks about. So we did have a lot of indecision that kind of led up into this year. You can see that it, you get spikes and it's going bullish and bearish and just not kind of giving a clear indication of what's going on um, just because the stock is going very, very sideways. So stock wasn't clear about where it's going on. So you don't have a lot of ingredients matching up until, up until kind of the end of December. And I just kind of want to point this out. I've talked about this over and over again, uh, but there's more data. And so we can kind of talk a little bit about how that works over time because obviously we had a huge nice big run up here it's been a bit kind of a bit of a pullback which you expect after a run up and it's kind of settling down a little bit but let's just talk about kind of we'll reiterate what i've talked about before with meta uh if you're just started to look at it here and you're kind of seeing all this kind of indecisive activity and you're looking to kind of give you something about a little bit more decisive um, here, uh, if we just start here, here you had like the green spike, okay? Um, after that, you had a bit of a yellow bar. Uh, uh, in addition to that, you had your uh, directional line go bullish right here. Uh, your indicators went, uh, for Magic Health went uh, sideways here and kind of uh, they're above zero and they're uh, vertical. Uh, in addition to that, your horizontal time risk, uh, which I believe, uh, Peter, feel free to correct me if I'm mis mispronouncing or misstating these things, but this also went bullish. And you can see that it just got really, really clear. Everything seemed to line up uh, and everything that came in on the bar was just like the dark green color. Very, very clear that this is in a bullish trend. And during that time frame, uh, uh, Meta had gotten beat really seriously up. Uh, during this whole time frame, there's only an indication that this bullish trend is in place. And one of the, my favorite features of 18 is I can actually measure this move if I just draw a trend line here. So during this upward move here, went up about 65% over about 27 days. Okay. And uh, that during that whole time, you're getting a fairly clear picture just by looking at the ingredients. Okay. Um, here you had a red spike. Here you had uh, the, um, the the bearish indication. I, I think this is the gold bar. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, thank you. And then it just pulls down, right? And that's really, really kind of evident. Let kind of think the the nature. Here you've got another indication. You know, your horizontal time risk. These go negative, and you have a bit of a pullback. So we haven't reestablished a trend right now. Uh, it looks like uh, we uh, recently, but I did give you a very, very clear indication that this trend was over. And if you look, start to look where those signals came in, they're right here. This is such a good way to kind of read this. Okay, so we've got this uh, spike that ends here. You have the gold bar that's here. Uh, you've got the uh, ribbons that are going red here. Um, it's not kind of giving you a mixed signal. It has been a little bit for a couple of days, but right here, now I've got this green spike. You've got the yellow bar again starting to see some green activity. Is it going to continue to go up? No, but it's kind of starting to give you the ingredients and an indication that it might. So definitely, as with everything else, um, I really like the kind of the picture. It's not going to work every time, but I really like the way that it, you can kind of use the ingredients to simplify your analysis. And if I can kind of get a real clear signal here, and just I love when this started to come in. And here we get the spike. Here we get a confirmation. Here we get a confirmation. Here we get a confirmation. It's so it, it's so well put together for you. If you're in this trade, this is starting to tell you, hey, maybe it's time to start getting out of this trade. Uh, and it's not being subtle about that. So in any case, let's talk a little bit about the scanning that's involved in there. Peter, did you have anything you wanted to add with that? No, you could show them it forecasts like uh, way earlier. Look at the 3.4 
right? Three point four. Yeah, three four. No, right where your trend line is, right? Uh, okay, when you go on a left, right? Look at mm -hmm. that three point four, right? The, the blue circles. Three point four. I'm yeah, not seeing yeah. it. The blue circle is on around thirteenth of the January twenty-three. Okay. Oh, here. This yeah. threes and fours. That's what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's telling me behind to, my trend line. <laughs> we're going to go higher. It tells you way yeah, before. Okay. If okay. you put the arrow there, it tells you. Look, it's go. If you put the arrow on a blue circle, mm -hmm. right here. It, yeah, it will tell you it is going make, going to make a new high. Okay. Cool. That's uh that's a uh, very very cool and another just another confirmation too. Yeah, that's a, institutions setup. So. These are all C1s are all institutions coming in. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, when I was taking the trade, I would, um, this is my setup actually. And mm -hmm. I'll right. enter into the trade and I keep adding. Every yeah, time yeah. C came in, I keep adding. Okay, uh, cool. That's awesome. I'm, I have to start paying it. I've never even paid attention to those numbers. No, this is what is, uh, Jeff, it was designed for that purpose only. So mm -hmm. I want to know when my friends are getting in because we were on a floor, right? So somebody mm -hmm. shouts, hey, you know, I'm taking position. Now, 50 people like Peter going in there because they all know the setup. Only thing what we added here, those low risk setups, not because they lose 40% of time here. I'm not telling we could 100, but we have a more accuracy. So the risk we added in there. So that's where it making so kind of better accurate. I gotcha. And that's the other thing, like, okay, that's a really, really good kind of um, uh, transition here because I've obviously been using Meta or Magic Trader, I've been using MetaSwipe forever, but I've been using uh, Magic Trader for a long time. And one of the things that I like about it is also what I like about MetaStock is that's the depth, right? Like I've been using it for a few years now and uh, I just showed you how helpful it was for me to look at, but I just learned something new. So it's definitely something that's a very, I, I always like to say this about Metastock. I also think it's true about Magic Trader. Um, the more you learn about it, the better it's going to work for you. And it's a, it is a massive add-on. It has 58 indicators, uh, 47 explorations, uh, two expert advisors, the 35 templates, a really good, well-defined manual, and some training that we'll talk a little bit more about. But before we kind of talk a little bit about the, the pricing and kind of what's involved in the pricing and that kind of stuff, I do want to talk a little bit about scanning because I think that's one of the things that Metastock does best. So let me go ahead and kind of jump in here. I'm going to do a little bit uh, to get to scanning. If you're not familiar with Metastock, that's okay. Uh, we call it explorations. Um, I've been asked why we call it explorations. I have no idea. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the scanning tab, and I've just done the Magic Trader on a five ingredient scan. Okay. Now I've got this ready to run. Um, here I've got it set against some index constituents, which is really easy to do in Metastock. I've set it to run against the Dow Jones Industrial, the NASDAQ 100, and the S&P 500. So I'm going to go ahead and start the exploration here. We're going to have it run through and just kind of um, uh, I'll show you exactly kind of what everything looks for. Now, what I want to say about the scanning too is I only selected about 526 scan uh, instruments. Typically, when I'm running this scan, I, I like to do S&P 500. I like to do NASDAQ 100. I like to do Dow. Uh, but this list, if you want to look at ETFs, you can do ETFs. You can do optionable stocks. There's a list of all the optional stocks. If you're not in the U.S. and you want to look for stocks in India, uh, we have a great, uh, we covered the NSE, the uh, Bombay Stock Exchange. We have uh, stocks in Australia. Because we get that data from Refinitiv, you can use this anywhere that you are <laughs> or anywhere that you want, uh, rather, regardless of whether or not you're there. So uh, in any case, that scan ran through. So if I wanted to kind of get an idea of how things were looking for a specific instrument, this basically rejected about, uh, the, this basically lists the state of the five ingredients. So it's a scan that I ran. Um, and this is kind of the way that the reports will hear. So right here, we've got the close price. If I look over here um, uh, at the columns, I've actually got a cheat sheet over here. The uh, DL blue is the magic direction lines. So if I sort by that, I can see everything that has a magic direction line. So right here, looking at Amphenol, we've got a direction line of one. 
We've got uh, American Electric Ordinary as a one. All of these have uh, bullish direction lines. Uh, in column two, we've got HE bullish. And just so that I don't uh, say that wrong, it's health indicators. So we've got the health, health indicator it's pure, bullish. No, it's a pure, uh, a, 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 yeah, it's a health indicator, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, good, because otherwise our notes are wrong. <laughs> okay. No, it is true, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, here we've got the green spike. So if I want to look for the green spikes, I can sort on those too. And obviously, like what I'm trying to find is, is uh, if I'm looking to make a bullish case for a stock, I can see exactly where these line up. So you've got the, uh, you've got the green spike. The GRPH means uh, pure health. Pure health, yeah. Uh, green ribbon, and uh, and then you've got the bearish. Yeah, this is the bearish side over here. So I can sort these. I can kind of see where they're at. If I see something that where a lot of things actually match up, I don't even have to open up the chart. But then when I want to look at a chart, if I find something that has, if I uh, that I want to look at that's bullish, it has all the bullish markers on it. I can just help that out. Uh, uh, yeah, go okay. to Intuit. Look, Intuit. You want to look at uh, Intuit? Yeah, okay. look, there right are here. a lot of matching. There. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You've got the yeah. uh, you've got the direction lines as bullish. Uh, you've got the bullish health. I always kind of uh, uh, you've got the bullish health indicator here. You've got a green spike. Everything's matching up for Intuit. So we can open that up right here from the chart. And it should open up with the same template that we're looking at. And we can kind of see where everything lines up. And yeah, this is making a very, very good bullish in argument. So there you go. I love scanning in Metastock because it allows you to just, you know, we just looked at 500 stocks and we found something where it had all of those uh, bullish uh, matching up. So there you go. Um, is there anything that you want me to show in addition to that, Peter, before we kind of go? Commentary window. Oh yeah, that's a great one to show. I also another of my favorite features. So one of the things I like about Metastock is you can come in here, and it's going to kind of help you understand things. And that's important as you're learning uh, system Mike Peter stuff to look at the commentary window. So right here we've got I've just opened it up, and when I do that, you'll notice um, it's a little bit there's a triangle that's under this PB. Actually, I'll move it so you can see it a little bit clear. It's right there. Okay, so I'm going to move that right here. What we're going to do is it's just going to kind of go in and it's going to kind of define the stuff for you. So right here, there's a, your trading strategy overview. It kind of gives you a little bit of information about the system in general. I really like the way I uh, I usually like the the commentaries that I write. Peter wrote this and he did a really, really good job. He did a better job than I would have if I would have wrote it. But right here, you can see all of the ingredients. Uh, they're written in kind of like a dashboard view. You can see the uh, magic direction line is bullish. The health indicator is bullish. It's all just spelled out for you. I don't need to read it. You can read. But um, you can kind of come down here for more details. Kind of breaks everything down for you. And Peter, you did a great job with this. I absolutely love it. Thank you. So, okay, cool. Anything anything else that I should talk about before I talk about uh, this? the pricing and the really, really good deal that you're offering today. Oh, you did great job. You explained to them a lot of things, right? Okay. Is, in a few minutes, you can't explain everything, but a couple of things they will know what is different yeah. between this and what they have it. Yeah, and that's the other thing is the more you kind of go through, and there is some really good training that's included. There's additional training that's provided, but uh, I, I, I liken it to Metastock. I think I kind of, alluded to this, I'm going to restate it. Uh, but like the more you kind of drill into it, the more you understand how to run the scans, the experts, the commentary, the more you understand the signals, uh, the better it's going to work for you. This isn't just, you know, hey, here's a buy signal. There you go. It's a really, it's not a tool you're going to grow out of. It's very, very cool. So, okay. The retail price on the the uh, Magic Trader Elite, we'd already talked about all the indicators, the scans, the te the uh, expert advisors, all the stuff that's listed here. It's normally one ninety nine per month. Uh, what we're um, and I'm going to come back to this fundamental training because I want to talk about that separately. But what we're going to do here uh, is if you want to do uh, the Magic Trader uh, subscription, uh, and that's all you want to do, we're going to basically allow you to get that uh, uh, one ninety nine. If you pay for uh, basically 149, we'll give you a, 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 a discounted price of 149 per month, but we'll also give you a second and third month for free. So if you just want to do that, 
That's going to in also include for you the Magic Trader. It'll be three months of the Magic Trader, so you have time to go through the manual. It does come with a boot camp, which is normally $399, as you can see here. I, uh, Peter, do you remember offhand how long that boot camp was? I think it was like... What, two hours? I thought it was way longer than that. Yeah, at least two hours, because that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, I think three hours, yeah, three hours, yeah. Okay, and that's included for free, no charge. So if you pay $149, you'll get three months of Magic Trader, and you'll get the boot camp as well. But one of the things Peter does a really good job of is through training. And we sat down and we did over 20 hours of recording over the series of uh, several, I think it was several weeks. I think we did them weekly. It could, yeah, that's not even important. There's 20 hours of recording where he talks about magic trader, really dives into like, you can see kind of the outline here, but the dimensions of risk, the preceptors, the chart, uh, the, all of the trading modules, the introduction to magic, five ingredients, how to use them. You know, 20 hours plus of recording normally retails at uh, basically 9.99. You can see that right here. Okay. So what we're going to do basically, if you do the retail pricing uh, for for this, 1.99 times three months would be 5.97. The recorded trainings are 9.99. Um, Peter has a Magic Trader Education portal that you can get for free. In fact, I actually included his uh, his text information in the chat earlier and can repeat it as well. And you also get, of course, that free boot camp that we talked about that comes with it. So the total value of that would be $19.95. And what we're going to do today, this is actually just a, the community information. There's a Facebook group and a Magic Trader room that has a glossary of all the terms that are used. If we come in here, what we're going to do here, and this is good through March 29th. So it's good through next Wednesday. Uh, but if you want to get that training, the three months of Magic Trader, everything that's included right there, $7.99. So that's the price that you'll pay. You need to do that between now and Wednesday, okay? Um, if you just, like I said, if you just wanna, that includes the Magic Trader, that includes three months, that includes all the training. It's a really, really good special. We've only offered that pricing one time before, okay? Um, like I said, just a second ago, if you wanna subscribe for a month, you can get the second and third month for free. I'd recommend you go with the package. It's only $7.99. I actually showed the sales guys this morning. We do a weekly morning uh, every Wednesday morning. And I showed them kind of, we were talking about the offer and going through it. And uh, one of the guys was like, that's a really good offer. I was like, yeah, uh, Peter really provided a good offer, but you need to do it before the 29th. So um, if you already have Magic Trader and you want to get that recorded training for the fundamentals, we're also discounting that down to $6.99. Again, that's only available at March 29th. But basically, if you're a new customer, what I would recommend that you do is do the package deal, the $7.99. It's going to include everything that you need to get started. This is also going to include three months, a lot of training. By the end of three months, uh, you're going to understand if it's going to be helpful for you. Um, and if you don't like it, you can just cancel. There's no ongoing commitment to keep it, but it's a great add-on. You should try it, and you should try it with all the training that's available. So um, give us a call, 800-882-3040, uh, metastock.com slash sales chat, um, and you can mention the code of SDI. So um, there you go. Do you guys have, I should have asked this a few minutes ago, but do you guys have any questions for Peter while we have him here? And I, again, let me, while, that, while you have a chance to ask a few questions. Um, yeah, I'm here. They could ask yeah. any question they have. It. Um, let's see. Let me just go through the phone number again. 800-882-3040, metastock.com slash sales chat. So um, let's see. Uh, there was a question that came in a little bit earlier um, that Siva asked, and I did answer this in the chat. But the, the question was, does this work on a monthly chart? Do these colors come in as a monthly chart? It's a specific question. And uh, Peter, do you want to answer that or do you want me to answer so, that? What is the question for a monthly chart? Uh, do the colors the, work on a monthly chart? The, the, the okay. Colors? They work all the way to quarterly chart and yearly chart. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's exactly, yes. So you can apply it to any time frame that you want. With some of them, actually, like, let's talk a little bit more about this because uh, some of the, there are different pre-built templates that you can use. 
So for example, I always like to show the daily one because it's very much in line with like, I just don't have time. I wish I had time to like trade the markets all the time, but it's, uh, it's unfeasible because I work a lot, you know what I mean? But like, if you do have, uh, there are templates that are pre-built and uh, where you can go in and have five minutes daily. Uh, 60 minutes, five minutes. And those are all kind of pre-set up and ready to go. So for example, this one says D5, uh, that means daily in five minutes. But you can apply the expert to any, uh, any time frame that you want. And it'll do the color as long as there's enough data in the chart. Like if it's something that's brand new and you're looking at a yearly chart, it's not gonna have necessarily enough data to kind of calculate the indicators necessary, right? You're looking at a yearly. So, uh, but you can't apply it to any, temp any time frame that you want. Was that a good answer, Peter? I missed it, to be honest with you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. I'll, I'll tell you, I, I was drinking my coffee. I, I okay. wake up at two o'clock. <laughs> You're coffee. fine. You're fine. I have a, a tendency, like something shiny goes past, like I am a product of the 80s. I have hyper, uh, yeah, you know. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, that does look like, oh, you do need to come in. You do need to, uh, and she said, that I can't remember what the exact comment was, but um, you didn't have said it's true. You didn't have actually been using Magic Trader for a number of years, uh, or yeah, it would be a number of years now. I was like, has it been out that long? Yeah, it has, three years, I think now. But um, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, she said it's true to something earlier, but uh, Peter, everything you, uh, I love the magic trader. Give it a go, guys. Give us a call um, if you want to, 800-882-3040, metastock.com slash sales chat. The amount of value you get in this bundle with all of the training that's included in the three months of magic trader, $7.99. Uh, that's it, 800-882-3040, uh, metastock.com slash sales chat. Peter, I want to say thanks for coming today. Uh, thank Bye. you very much. Uh, and I appreciate everybody's coming in today. And That's uh, my mind. We, could, that. we could help <laughs> some people. So nobody had a technical question, right? Any chat uh, they want to analyze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody came in with any questions. You didn't have said that she uh, said it's true that it's helpful for finding multiple trades when the market is turbulent. So she was clarifying. Uh, but thank you for the clarification there. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. It's like, like the the markets when they're kind of trending, it's on easy mode. <laughs> you know, like if the market's going up and you're losing money, something's wrong, right? It's when things get stiff that you need to look at what you're doing and make sure that what you're doing is a is a is a reliable way of finding good things. I will tell you, Jeb, it boils down to be institutional. Uh, uh, disk and uh, what is happening there, how they're hedging. That's the bottom line. And for, sure. so for instance, JP Morgan, right, on uh, S&P, uh, they put a, a big collar at uh, the strike price 4060 to save their portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if you see in last two days, where it ended, around that number, right? right. Because that, that becomes automatic resistance. Now, the ordinary people don't know all these things and they go, go long and then they get beat up as soon as I enter, it went down. But because the hedging people controls this market, my life started in hedging actually. I said, wow, this is how they uh, were controlling the market. And that was back in 90s, right? And it mm -hmm. is now what we're learning, they've become more sophistication and uh, now all the exchange started sharing all the information now it becomes more better game so you know ordinary people have no idea and uh, uh, we've been seeing it we don't have problem with magic terror and all this thing in there right so basically the market is bad because of the aging to be honest with you for sure and that's, yeah and that's what it is and who's moving this handle institutions and they fight each other. Mm -hmm. and I'll be honest with you, I have physically see these fights happening between institution to institution. Because we're in a position and somebody comes in, a hedge fund comes in and try to do otherwise. All right, we're going to teach them a lesson. And now we unload a lot of uh, securities on them. And then they wind up losing money. So, gotcha. so yeah. I, 
physically I witnessed so many times. And that's how I learned all these things. Wow, this is this is something what broker will never tell us. It's not kiss. I and I yeah, know, I, I get excited really every day I see the order flows and all the now we talk about order flow. We were talking back in days, right? And you know, I was fortunate to go to traditional floor several times, right? 180 people taking different institution orders. It is like a bazaar. And mm -hmm. you learn so much, they don't let you come in there. I was fortunate to go there whenever I feel it. And I learned so much how institutions are really buying when everything is going down, they keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. And you're not talking about here thousand shares, you're talking about 50,000 at a time. Mm -hmm. you, they place an order for 50,000 shares. For sure, yeah. That's the minimum. It's unreal. So how you could, so that's why we, what we did, me and my daughter, I knew all the Intel side of, right? The games playing. Uh, we're going to program in a way, we know all the games. Well, right. and the, one of the things that really is a seriously value is like a lot of people that, that a lot of people are trying to find a good way to trade. And so this would be, this is a really good solid offer. I really appreciate kind of you coming down so low on the prices because people are looking for something that works well. So Jeff, I'm not under, understating Magic Terror was designed in a way, regardless what market changes are of whatever the games they play, Magic Terror will always have a sensation in there. You, the traders will know game has been played. And if Udenia is still there, she will know. See, I witnessing every day in the alert room. And I tell this is the game they're going to play. This is what is going to happen. Next, you could write kind of script what is going to happen. It's cool. Yeah. It's unreal. Well, I uh, thank you for the offer, Peter. I also want to just say that with Magic Trader, you've done such a good job with the design. It's thank so, you. so easy to understand. Yeah. So, and now, for the really good offer. After a couple of webinars, you started understanding where I'm coming from, right? Everything mm -hmm. I had to do to keep the regulators happy, right? Because it took them two years to say, okay, it's okay. We could put these symbols. Mm -hmm. And they were very happy because their whole uh, thing was, Every step of the way, we got to inform there is a risk and what kind of risk is going on. So the symbols, that's why all the symbols came from, to be honest with you. Cool. Regulators uh, you did like to like, inform, yeah. inform the traders more informed. That's their ultimate uh, motto was. Cool. And, uh, okay. Well, I think we're going to cut it there, Peter. I really appreciate your coming in and spending some time with us. Take advantage of this offer you know, while it's available. Yeah, when we don't have to constrain ourselves in one hour, I cannot tell all these things. So I like this kind of events better. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I mean, certainly like, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit more, it's it's a lot more relaxed. You can answer questions and make sure. Bit, yeah, I agree. And people who are serious, they want to ask questions, right? And they learn from there. That's what I like as a trader. So I like more free right in a, this kind of setup and i appreciate you can reach out to me let's do it so yeah. i would, I would we'll like to do another one on the calendar for not too long now. I, oh, yeah i yeah i will do schedule. anytime jeff you want i will come and that helps the traders also okay right cool. so we could help many traders this way yeah for sure i really appreciate you coming in peter i, I spend the time with us all right, You're thank you very welcome. much, Jeff. Okay, right. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Thank and you. And I very appreciate, much. while we're saying our gratitudes, thanks for coming today, guys. I really appreciate yeah, it. Everybody who stayed even longer. Yeah. Um, if if you haven't tried Magic Trader, if you don't have access to this trading, this is a good deal. Give it a go. $7.99. It's only good through $3.29. So you've got the phone number, you've got the chat. If you have questions, reach out. We'll be happy to help. It's great to have you there. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, Peter. We'll see you at All the right, next thank one. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.